Right, hi, hi everyone. This is take two because I uh, messed up and um, ended up uh, uh, virtually deleting my own vid by, uh, you know, um, when coming off of the tabs. Uh, but never mind. Uh, basically, I was going to do a tutorial to do with the um, how I paint my black orcs. Uh, Basically, I haven't done one before because I do lack the confidence with this. Uh, this is gonna should be running about uh, twelve minutes or so. Uh, um, so it's fairly quick. I've seen others that have taken three or four uh, sessions uh, for parts before they've um, uh, finished um, how to paint um, a certain thing. So I'm just gonna do a nice uh, quick one. And basically, I will start off by yes, either spraying them or painting them black. I personally just paint them over uh, uh, black, and uh, then just because uh, it's mostly armor anyway. So you just start, and I'll just bend it down here like that. And I'll just do a little bit where the axe is. Uh, really, you should actually just put just a tiny little bit of um water with the uh in mixing in with the paint because it can be a bit a little bit too thick uh, um let's say on there i don't know if you can see it but well paint it all over silver no, don't overload your brush just uh put a little bit halfway really you should do and um Make sure there ain't no blobs too too much on the brush to make sure it's not blobby. So uh, basically, yeah, like that, and then it's pretty much a. Uh, um, I use any brown you can do for the rust effect. This is just a nice, quick, and easy way of doing it. Uh, just a. This, don't mind, this is quite a worn brush anyway, but uh, not much less. It's overdone it a bit, but uh, it's that's all right. And put a fair a little bit, of, a fair bit of brown with it, uh, a little bit of black. Now I'm losing the Galeo black for this one. And just mix it in until you got a dark, muddy brown. And then you just put, I would say, four parts, three to four parts, uh, depending on how much of the paint you've put, you've, uh, put down. But four should do it. That should do it, I think. And just literally just... Uh, Pull it on, you know, which is all uh, uh, you've covered all the silver areas, just uh, cover it on um, like that. I mean, you could do wait for it to dry and do a, a few layers and that, or maybe in different tones of brown, just to uh, get a good rusty color. And it'll end up looking like well, it does on that one. Which still looks uh, fairly shiny, but he also looks like looks quite rusty, rust and dirt and stuff. And that's it. Uh, that's how I do it with that one. You also make sure. Also, when it comes to the skin, um, it's. This one, or shade green, so you just cut cover over the skin color with that, uh, where the skin is with that, sorry, and uh, then it's um, literally painting it a you just put a little bit of white with it at first, so it ends up. One moment. Let me do a little bit. So it's, uh, just a tiny bit. 
that's the habit I do. I end up, uh, uh, you know, doing this shade and stuff, and I've done it on the white pot paint, but never mind. You shouldn't really technically um, make sure you've cleaned your brush, obviously, before uh, um, putting it in the, another paint pot. But, um, that's a good consistency for the for the lighter tones, but you need it darker than a little bit darker than that. So ends up somewhat akin to that, and then you just um, layer it on, pull it on, and. Uh, Make sure it's a smooth coat and that, and uh, this is my first tutorial, so bear with me. Uh, make sure that you've covered all the raised areas. You see where the the, the uh, inner part of the muscles, the the creases, and all that on the muscles, as you can see there. See it quite clearly. You leave leave that alone. And then you just build up with a lighter highlight. I only put just one highlight on top. So I ended up. Pretty much. Just a little bit more actually. And just uh, where the tops of the muscles are, if you can. Yeah, idea actually to get more of a detailed brush for bits like this, but I'm just doing this for this tutorial. And then, It doesn't matter too much. I mean, these are pretty much rank and file. So you want a nice effect, but you want to get them out and get them done fairly quickly. Which is why I've done them the way I've done them. So I can get it out nice and quick. All ready for the tabletop, but um, as you can see with that that's looking pretty good I'll just do a little bit more there and there. I don't want it too light I mean if it is if, if you feel that it's too light the skin you just tone it down again with a darker shade I just put a little bit more of the orange uh, that colour in to darken it down, but I'm um, just using that just to show you. And I think that's okay actually. I have to put a bit more work onto it after I've uh, with the skin and that after I've done the tutorial. But uh, basically, that's it. And when it comes to the uh, so I'm running at nine minutes. Uh, when it comes to the uh, stuff like the uh, horns and stuff, you could uh, paint. I painted. I painted them this color, which is a swamp type, a swamp brown. It says on there, but uh, that sort of color. You can do it pretty much any darker, any darker brown you want, or any brown you want, any way you want. This, so I, I do it. And basically, just uh, uh, cover the horns in the uh, in the brown. Now, I'm 
as I said, you do need a tiny little bit of uh, water in with it, but that was just me for speed. And then just uh, uh, just put a uh, a lighter bit of a lighter tone uh, that far up, so it's showing a darker tone there. And then maybe a lighter still, and then a little bit of white, virtually white on the tips, so it ends up like I've done it. There, that ain't as good as what I've told you, but that was just a very quick way of doing it, and it looks effective enough. And obviously, a small detail brush just to pick out the eyes, uh, which I've done, obviously, the red. Make it out. I'll be putting just a little bit of flock on that one, and that'll do. It's just a quick way of doing it. Also, uh, to do with the uh, any black areas, I owe you there pretty much for speed a very dark grey, or you could just highlight, do a few highlights here and there um, to do with the uh, black areas like the belts or the trousers, pants as the Americans call them. Uh, and uh, for pronunciation, as uh, Black Barnes uh, said, uh, the, our, us Brits and uh, our pronunciations, I've thrown a few times, sorry about that. Uh, and actually, thanks, uh, uh, Black Barnes, for suggesting this. I was considering it, but as I said, I do lack the com I have lacked the confidence, but I've done quite a few vids, and I think I'm sure this has turned out okay, so. Uh, yeah, uh, this is just the way, quick way of how I do it, how I do them. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I may post up a few more at some point in the future, see how you feel. Uh, if I can fit, fit them in within 15 minutes, I'll, I'll uh, do one, sort of like uh, the way I've done it with a few models, just to, sh just to show the end results, the effects. And I've got a few here that I'm going to paint, and that's it. And obviously, yeah, thank you, Black Barnes, for the suggestion. I've done one now. I just hope people enjoyed uh, what I put on here. And uh, till next time.